Hi there, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to go over how to wirelessly transfer pictures from my iPhone over to my desktop Windows 10 computer um, quickly, easily, and without using any paid apps. And it's very uh, quick and easy and I'm just going to dive right into it. So the first thing I need to do is on my iPhone I need to go ahead and download a program called Wi-Fi Photo Transfer. So put Wi-Fi Photo Transfer into the App Store. I'm going to just type it in right off the bat here. Wi-Fi Photo Transfer. Okay, you select that. Scroll down until you find it. The image kind of looks like that right on the screen here. Wi-Fi Photo Transfer. It's got the little cloud download. I've only da I've already downloaded it before, but I removed it and so I can re-download it for this uh, demo here. I'm going to click it and go ahead and download it. And it's free. There are no in-app purchases or anything. Um, it's a well-reviewed uh, app. It's been you know around here for over four years. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good one. Okay, so the uh, app is uh, downloaded now. And um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and click open. And that opens up the app. And yes, you want to grant it permissions, okay? So Wi-Fi Photo would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. You want to click OK. All right. And you want to hit Continue here. And you want to allow access to all photos, okay? And this just lets the app kind of have access to your photos so then it can send it to your computer. All right. So then the second step you do is you um, load up your computer and you type in the address that you see here, okay? So you um, open up your, go ahead and open up your browser window. I like to use Chrome. Okay, so go ahead and we can open up Chrome here. And then we're gonna type in this address here, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168. And your number will probably be, ooh, a little power. That's okay. Your number will probably be a little similar to this, but probably different. So make sure you type in the one that appears on your screen, colon, one, and then four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Hit enter. Oh, look at that. Some silly photos there that I um, uh, uh, placed on there not too long ago. Okay, so I go to recents. Yeah, these are all the photos. I don't have that many photos on my iPhone right now. I just kind of reset it. So. So those are your photos um, r that you're now accessing on your computer. So you can simply just click this button here, download in zip, okay? And just select all the ones you want. Works for videos, works for photos. I wouldn't do more than um, 50 at a time with this software, um, but it could support more. There you go, download the selected 11. Okay, and then it's going to ask me where I want to save it, but I'm going to save it onto my desktop. So, so, you know, you have, you can organize your folders at a different time, but if you just save it to your desktop, you know, it's going to come right uh, 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 on your main screen there in Windows. So you just select it and you can put, you can change this name here, iPhone pictures. And you know what, I'm going to save it to my desktop, but before I do that, I'm gonna hit right click and I'm gonna go to new folder. And I'm gonna put in pictures. Just a picture folder on my desktop. No, nah, I don't wanna merge it. I'm gonna make uh, another, you know what? I'm gonna make a brand new one, overwrite that one, whatever. And I'm going to create this one as iPhone pictures. Okay, I double click it, and then I can save my iPhone pictures zip file in there, I hit save. Okay, and then it's in there. So then I can simply open up Windows Explorer, and the way to open up Windows Explorer is to simply go to your start and type in Explorer. Okay, and then hit File Explorer, okay? So hit File Explorer. And um, uh, this type, this window will will show up, and then 
of course you want to select desktop and then you created your folder on here called iPhone pictures and then you select your iPhone pictures folder and then you have your iPhone pictures.zip file you can actually double click this and then it shows you the pictures right in there um, and now a zip file has it all kind of squished together so when you hit extract all and then hit extract so then when you hit extract your pictures uh, come up uncompressed and they're actually in another folder called iPhone pictures within your iPhone pictures folder and uh, and they're all here including your video files and your photo files um, in in all their glory and they're all here all your picture files and your video files and it's as easy as that and then once you um, make sure that all the files that you wanted to send from here to your computer are on there you can clear the files off your computer uh, off your phone to make some more space now if you're gonna start using this method to back up your own pictures I would recommend turning off uh, iCloud backup photo backup um, and then that way you have full control over what pictures are on your iPhone and then what pictures you put on your computer um, and because with the iCloud you never know which uh, pictures are on your phone and which are in the cloud and then you can lose the uh, the high resolution originals um, to the cloud um, uh, and then you have to do a whole bunch of stuff to, 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 to get it uh, back. So this is a nice little shortcut way that I found uh, pretty useful. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this video and have a great day.